Greetings, everyone. This is Rajesh Kumar from Ajit Desmond. This is my name. When first came in, I want to share about the famous management concept called uh, scientific management. Here we see about the meaning, definition, principle, techniques, and tools. Scientific management was performed by Frederick Winslow Taylor in 1856 to 1950. Who is the father of scientific management? Apart from Taylor, other contributors to uh, to the scientific management include. Frank B. Thibault, Maurice L. Cook, uh, Henry L. Ballant, and Horrington Emerson. According to the definition given by the W. Taylor, scientific management uh, concerned with uh, knowing exactly what you want man to do and then see in that they do it in the best and cheapest way. Taylor experimented in three companies: Woodward Steels, uh, Simon's Rolling Machine. And then Bethlehem and Steels. Uh, and on the basis of his observation and finding, he has proposed these principles. Principle of scientific management. There are four principles of scientific management. Uh, replacing rule of thumb. Taylor suggested the management as a science. Every decision to be taken or activity to be performed must be based on fact. He told that we should not stick with. old techniques uh, but strive to form new techniques the best technique could be found after proper between managers and workers harmony in group action he told that inside the organization that should be harmony among the worker and there should not be any dispute between the workers cooperation not individualism uh, status that there uh, should be cooperation among the worker and different department since all departments are independent on each other so there should be a spirit of cooperation rather than uh, internal com- competitions maximum output scientific management involves continuous increase in production and productivity uh, mutual restrict production either by way of management or by worker development of uh, workers Scientific management. All workers should be developed in the fullest extent possible for their own and for the uh, company's highest prosperity. Development of worker requires their scientific selection and providing them training at the workplace. Organizational behavior elements, tools, features of scientific management. Separation of planning from doing. Taylor emphasizes the separation of planning uh, aspects from uh, actual doing of work. Before Taylor's uh, scientific management, uh, a worker used to plan about how he had to work and what instrument were necessary for that uh, supervisor's uh, job. Was uh, merely to see how the worker were performing. Uh, This was creating a lots of problem, and Taylor emphasized that planning should be left to supervisor, and the workers should emphasize only operational works. Uh, then job analysis. Job analysis as given by the Taylor is such as for a fair amount of days work requires certain moments and rest uh, periods to uh, complete it. Differential payment. Taylor founded the differential. a uh, piece of work system and their later incentives with the production under this plan the worker received a low piece rate if he produced the standard number of pieces and a high rate if he suppressed the standard taylor also suggests that the attraction of a new high piece rate would encourage the worker to increase the production for example in a organization there may be two piece rate Uh, rupees fifteen and the rupees twenty. Suppose each worker has to achieve the target of producing ten items every day, and the worker who produces ten or more items will be paid at the rate of rupees twenty, and who could not achieve the target will be given wages at the rate of rupees fifty. Rupees. Uh, If a worker produces ten items, uh, he will get two uh, hundred, and uh, other who produces Nine items, he will get one thirty five. Taylor also suggests that the attraction of new IPs rate would encourage the worker to increase the production. Functional foremanship in order to uh, improve.
improve the quality of uh, supervision of worker at the supervisor level. Ta Taylor developed the concept of a functional foremanship in the system. Eight person are involved to direct the activity of the worker. Out of these four person are uh, concerned with planning, and remaining four are concerned with doing aspects of work. All of them give direction to workers on different aspects of work. This is against the unity of command uh, principle. Next, the provision of eight foreman or expert in each using uh, both the function or as well. First one is planning function. Taylor has suggested that few planning function that should be uh, follow experts. Uh, instruction card clerk. Um, the instruction card clerk defines the tasks to be performed by the worker along with the necessary instruction to carry out the task. Next one, root clerk. Uh, the root clerk defines and uh, instructs about the procedure and timing of doing a given task. Diamond cross clerk. Diamond cross clerk defines the standard time to complete a given task and the cost involved therein. Disciplinarian. It is to be responsible for the overall planning function and ensure that all work is done properly. Production function. Uh, production uh, is the implementation of the planning. In this part, he has uh, suggested following four topics. Speed boss is uh, responsible for uh, maintaining the speed of the production and ensure that uh, whether the worker performed by the worker with proper speed or not. Repair boss. Repair boss is responsible for maintaining all machines and tools in proper working condition so that the production work will not be affected. Gang boss. Gang boss is the representative or a leader of a small group of workers. Uh, he will be responsible for the activity uh, performed by the group. He is also responsible for the uh, preliminary arrangement machines work and uh, uh, relating setting tool in app and production unit. Inspector. The inspector uh, checks the quality in produced goods. If the product is not up to the mark, then he will investigate the reason and check overall production system. Next one is standardization. Standardization aspects of uh, instruments and tools, periods of work, amounts of work, working, condition, uh, cost of production, etc. These things should fixed in advance on the basis of the job analysis various elements of course that, uh, that go in performing a work next one is uh, mental evaluation sorry uh, mental uh, evaluation uh, scientific management uh, depends on the mutual cooperation between the management and worker for this cooperation there should be mental change in both the parties from uh, conflict to uh, cooperation Taylor feels that is the most important features of scientific management because in its uh, absence no principle of scientific management can be applied then scientific and selection training of workers Taylor gave the importance to the understood the importance of the developing scientific selection and development of the worker trailer uh, Taylor the worker and suggested to develop and uh, train every worker in order to bring out his best tailor uh, comprehended that uh, such trainings will enable the worker to perform a better more interesting and profitable class of work uh, than he has done in the past financial incentives uh, financial incentives can be motivate worker to put in their uh, maximum effort if uh, provision exists to earn higher wages by putting in extra effort worker will be motivated to gain more next one organizational behavior techniques of scientific management mm, yeah there are following techniques of scientific management uh, work study this uh, this is the study of finding the best possible way of performing a specific job it is an analytical study of the use of worker and material and uh, equipment in order to improve the existing method and work performed by elimination of every types of waste while conducting the work study of the responsible factor must be duty considered 
uh, work study covered both time study and uh, motion study for work measurement and work improvement time study this is the study of finding the standard or optimum time to be taken to perform in given task or to be complete an activity uh, time study is very useful in management because uh, performance uh, appraisal of the worker can be possible only after knowing the standard time for uh, completing the task motion study uh, this is the study to limit uh, reduce the unnecessary motion of work done by the worker during the work so that uh, the speed of the work can be increased for get you study the study is to be know about the frequency duration of the interval given to worker between the work study will since after uh, continuous work uh, the worker are uh, tried so rest or uh, interval in necessary to improve the uh, performance yeah then uh, contribution of uh, scientific management so the time and motion study we understand that the tool and physical activity concerned in a job can be made better balanced and organized scientific management discovered how important scientific selection of worker was and uh, comprehended that without a capability and the training a person cannot be expected to be to do his job properly if gave importance to the work design and uh, encouraged manager to seek one best way of doing a job um that it is as developed a rational approach to solve the organizational problem and the contributed to great deals to the professionalism of the management uh next uh, we see about the criticism faced by the uh, scientific management uh, yeah neither can be that the ma- monetary incentives are uh, strong enough to uh, motivate workers for uh, improved production has been uh, proved wrong man's only need in not money he has different types of needs such as safety needs uh, self esteem needs social needs uh, etc which motivates him to work uh, better uh, especially when he has uh, rise rise and above uh, strivation level tailor's time and motion study has not been accepted as entirely scientific um yeah tailor scientific management emphasizes the management of only uh, muscular task of the floor level and then neglects the areas of problem solving and decision making which are of key importance at the other managerial levels we say there are better tools and machines um as well as incentives methods uh, led to the removal of some worker who found it is challenging to get other job this caused uh, discontent among them it was found to be more relevant from engineering point of view that throwing a light upon the broader aspects of management because of which it is was opposed by tailor sorry uh, not a trail uh, tailor it is a trade union okay uh, industrialists and general public till now the scientific management is applied by the many business for their profit maximization for example till now the scientific management is applied by many business for their profit maximization for example uh, mcdonalds uh, follow all those things uh, uh, which is done by tailor uh, now the mcdonalds is one of the well known brand around the world here i conclude um thank you for the given opportunity to present a, a famous uh, management concept called uh, scientific management um yeah thanks to our dear professor dr n sundar pontian to uh, make us to do uh, and thank to my asbm management thank you have a nice day